Hello everyone. So after that talk, it's going to be a little tough to do some white hat. It's going to sound a little bit candid, but let's try. It. Um, I'm Thomas. I live in Berlin, working for Asics, but I'm not uh, here to talk about my company or myself today, so I'll just pass that. Um, Acer has changed a bit. Uh, for years we've been hearing about keyword and ranking. Um, you can read in this report that actually this has changed and there's a lot more behind it. So I listed the, the three names uh, behind this change. ASO 2.0, ANMO, ANEVO. It's just a, whole, a more holistic approach with this keyword and ranking, but the conversion on your, on your listing. The ads now also on Apple. Featuring app indexing, and I didn't write black app because I wanted to keep this clean, but here it is. Um, and today I'll be talking about a very specific topic in the, for the conversion uh, between people who view your app and people who don't know. The big problem here is that the drop off is massive. Like 70 to 90% of people who view your listing will not install your app. What can you do about it? Test the listing more. And why is that? So that you can not only get more installs from it, but higher conversion will eventually means paying less CPI for uh, paying less CPI, and I'm not the only one saying it. Uh, people from Romeo are saying you can reduce the budget on user acquisition. There's an indicator showing that just putting a unicorn in his icon, it doubles his revenue. There's the links, you can check them later. So I'll do a small test here to see which one do you think is working the best. So can you raise your hand if you think A icon would convert better. B option. Yeah, not so many people sleeping. Good. So actually, the A version had 40 percent more conversion. There's the link here. You can check this study from Smashing Magazine or something. But I'll be back on this study later. The lesson here is: don't trust your guts. Don't trust your instinct. Test it. And that's that's the topic of today. How do you test? Why? Because designed by comedy is not working. Your opinion is not your user's opinion. So just test it and see what's real. So what to test? What's important to test? I put a couple of figures from Storm Maven. Um, I don't know how true those figures are, but it's, well, in my experience, the biggest uplift coming from changing the icon and changing the first screenshot. A couple of other elements can play too, short description of first line also, and you can test as many things as you want. Um, one of these companies doing A-B tests, I'm talking later, actually has a couple of interesting things. One is category testing, and another one I put it here because it's pretty new, is about the search ads. So this company tested a listing on the App Store with, uh, with uh, the new ads that you can see on the right, and one with the organic results. The result was the rate of clicks on the first result is the exact same, and the conclusion they draw is that users don't see the difference between ads and organics. So that's the kind of things you can learn by testing. Um, this case study is going to be published by Split Metrics next week. Anyway, a little bit of practice. How do you do it? What oh, Never mind. How, how do you do it? On the Apple App Store, it's not that obvious. There's no tool, no official tool that they're able to do it. So there are a couple of companies, I know four of them uh, written here on the screen, that enable you to test by building a replica on a web page. So they, they build a fake app store page, user will think this is the app store, and you can control this page and change every element and see the, the amount of clicks on one version and another. So the, there's a video that I didn't put here because the, the, short is, the talk is short, but actually this YouTube video is pretty funny, so I, I don't know if they put the slide right away or if you can load it, but you can check it out later. What they do is, Sorry, go for it. <laughs> what, they, what they do is they build a, a web page out of it. So some user will notice. You can see actually on the top of the, of the screenshot that this is from testnest.com. So, some people will see that there is a, this is a web page. But most users, they work. here in the industry, you probably notice, but most users, they don't see the difference. Problem is, and in this case, the red icon one, but that's a small thing. There's a couple of problems with testing this way. The first thing is that you're misleading users. Uh, I don't like misleading my user because eventually people will click to download. What's going to happen? They will go back to the app store and say, what the hell happened here? And eventually you have a drop off here because people think there's a bug or something. But if you're doing testing not about the yellow or red icon, but a very com complex 
and revamping the whole store, people will see a different page to what they just click and say, is this the same app? Like not the same icon, not the same title. So it's misleading a little bit user. You can get lots of learnings, but at a cost. Second thing is you can only do it on paid traffic, because you can never control the, the organic traffic from the app store to do this. And the third caveat is that it's co it costs money. It costs money for the tool, they aren't cheap. But it also costs money for the traffic you're sending there, and eventually you have drop off. Um, I don't know how big this drop off is. I, I've researched it a bit, and I got nobody who could tell me for sure. I'm pretty sure it's at least 20%, but I can't prove it, so I won't, I won't give a specific figure here. Now, on the Google Play Store, it's a little bit easier because there's an official tool. I guess most of you know it already. Um, that's the Play Store experiment. You can access it from the, from the console directly. So the great thing here is that you've got organic traffic here. You're not misleading the users. And you can actually test a bunch of things, visuals, text, not everything, but a bunch of things. Uh, very recently, uh, uh, Google changed it so that you can run five experiments uh, in parallel. It's only in different localization. You can't test five different things in the same country, but at least this accelerates a little bit the pace of the experiments you can do there. And the best thing about it is that it's free. It's not only free, it's extremely easy to use. So I didn't want to patronize anyone and do a how-to on this because it's just so straightforward. You click next, change the version, and so on. This tool enables to see massive uplift. This is the case of a Spanish app called Red Car OK. They changed the icon here. So the initial icon was the big red one that I personally like. And then there are the three ugly icons on the right. And actually, those three icons manage an uplift up to 60% according to the tool. So just if you're curious, the last version, the, the best improvement is the icon in the middle. I did, I, we did the same test. We had our designer changing the icon. So that's the AV icon on top, and that's the designer icon at the bottom. Nobody liked it except the designer made it. I was like, yeah, we need to change it. I'm the lead designer, I'm the owner. Let's change it. Say, let's test this first. Let's see what happened. And I was praying for negative results here. Luckily, I got it, so we never put this ugly icon, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about it. I've got a bunch of other examples. The talk is short, so I'm not detailing them too much. This tool is great, it's free, it's easy, but it's got a couple of limits too. So the first thing is that because you only have it on the Play Store, many people would adapt it to the, to the, app, to the, app, to the Apple App Store. But this isn't working all, all the time. Users are different, also the layout is different. Second thing, you can't test the title. Uh, on, the, on the Apple, uh, with the tools for the Apple thing, you can test whatever you want because you control the layout. So you can test, if you want to create a new app store, you can. Here you can test the title. You can still test a bunch of things, uh, the, the feature graphic, the screenshot, video, etc. Then Google doesn't disclose the traffic split. So you don't really know how the A-B test is done. Maybe a version at this time got a lot more traffic from whatever source it is. It's not entirely reliable. And then, and I think it's the two biggest uh, issues here, is that you don't get the insights of what's happening on the, on the listing. You just get the result. This option is better, this option is worse, that's it. You don't get the on-page results that you can get, I think I have a slide after that, yes. The, the tools on the Apple Store give you specific insights. From the icon on the left, they actually tell you, okay, 60% of the people install the app, 20% of the people will browse the, browse the listing to understand what you're doing, and whatever it is, maybe 15% of people uh, will just drop off. And you change the listing and you see the difference in behavior. Are people browsing more on my page? Are they spending more time on the screenshot, on the description, and so on? And you can see a couple of details here about the engagement on the listing itself. That, the Google tool is not providing it, and that's actually a great insight to understand how people engage with the content that's on the listing before downloading the app. There's no insight on the bottom line, on what's happening in the app. Not all installs are worth the same. So maybe you're generating much, much, many more installs by changing the listing, but maybe these users are not loyal users. Maybe you're lowering in retention because you mislead people into installing the app. You never get a feeling of which version is going to actually improve engagement and eventually monetization at the end of the day. When Instagram changes icon, which I don't personally like myself, I don't think they were aiming at raising conversion like we're trying to do with the, with the A-B testing here. But if you look at the colors, and it's on the home screen of your phone, 
The color is so bright. Actually, I think that people notice it way more than before, and this can increase engagement. This is not something you can measure with this test. And the last thing is, I've got a bit of a twisted mind, and after 10 experiments in a row with winning, winning version over and over, I was measuring my, my conversion from the pay clicks, it just improved a tiny bit. I was like, I've got 10 readers, and I'm not winning anything. What's happening? So I put the, the own tool on test. I did the AA test, so I put the exact same version. And what I get is that my experiment was complete, and my variance, which was the exact same, was the best. And not by only a little, by 1 to 8%. I was like, this is kind of weird. And then people told me, yeah, you didn't give enough volume. Let it run. So I let it run, and I run, let it run over and over. And actually, the more I let it run, the higher the difference was for the exact same version. It's like, something is wrong here. So I called Google, but they did the Apple thing. They never answered. Uh, so I did a counter testing. I started back from scratch, and I put again the same version against the same version. And what I get is my new version is actually performing worse. It's like, so I began to be very suspicious with this tool. And what I've learned to do is, if I've got a difference of less than 10%, I'm not applying, I'm not believing the tool. You need big volume, but you also need big differences. When you look at the, at the trends, they are actually disclosed daily trends on this. And here in this experiment, what you can see is that the experiment is allegedly successful. We know what's the best version. But if you look at the trend of the four different vari variants that I tried, they actually cross from a day to another. And when I look at this, I say, how, how can this be a successful version? So I learned to be very doubtful. And the reason for that is not that the tool is bad. I think the tool is great. The, the reason for that is that mathematically, you don't know how relevant the result is. Because whatever the volume you put here, you put 500 install or you put 50,000 install, the level of confidence, the confidence interval that's written by Google is always stuck at 90%, no matter the volume. So for those who understand a little bit of statistics, this, is, this can't be right. Um, and actually, I think they could just make a great tool out of this by just disclosing what's the real confidence interval, not by saying 90% in all cases. So that's a big trouble with the, so I'm just saying, use it. But be careful with it, don't trust it fully. And actually, this is not only about the listing, it's most A-B tests have this bias and this flow. Uh, most A-B tests, they fail. I read a study, none of the listing, that was saying that 80% of A-B tests don't prove anything. Either you've got bias somewhere, or there was a, like the data was not split correctly, or whatever. Also because we're trying variants that are so close to one another that you never get big difference. The lesson here is be bold, try very different things. Don't try the yellow icon again, the red icon. Try to change the whole listing. Don't, don't be afraid to hurt your brain by changing it entirely and see what really makes a difference. The volume required for significance is high, and this is by new, because that means if you're an indie with 100 install a day, you'll never get the significance that's required to run this test. So you can do it, try it, and see if the result is big, and pray to think that it's best. But actually, you need a large volume to do this. And it depends also where you started from. When I asked you at the very beginning, is A or B uh, working best, and everybody say B, what happened is that this 40% increase came from a 5% conversion on the listing, which is ridiculous. I mean, most of you, I hope, will be maybe at 20, 30%, maybe a few people at 40% conversion. Here at 5%. They changed the icon, and suddenly they're at 7.2. Yeah, obviously, this kind of uplift, you can only see it if the, the listing was so bad at the beginning that you see this update. If your listing is already pretty decent, the, the, the uplift you'll see with testing will be small and incrementally smaller the more you test. Um, the improvement curve is very, is, is very flat at the end. And that's it. Thank you very much. I hope you'll